Hey guys, welcome to Kenya's Kitchen 88. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. Today we're going to be making a delicious hearty steak, eggs, and breakfast potatoes recipe. So let's get started. In a skillet, you're going to add some olive oil, butter, and some parboiled potatoes. Then you're going to season your potatoes. We're going to use some ranch seasoning, some garlic pepper seasoning, sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, and some smoked paprika. Mix the seasonings into the potatoes and you're going to saute the potatoes for just a little bit. For this recipe, I did not measure. I just seasoned based to my liking. Add a little bit of minced garlic and chopped onion and you're just going to saute for about two minutes. Next, we're going to move on and we're going to start cooking the steak. You can season the steak however you like. In a skillet on medium high heat, you're going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil and then you're going to add your steak. I do have a few options of how to season the steak on my website. So you're going to allow your steak to cook a few minutes on one side and then you're going to flip it over and allow it to continue to cook. Throughout the cooking time, I like to rotate with flipping the steak so that way it cooks evenly throughout. Once your steak is almost done, you're going to add some butter, some fresh garlic, and some thyme. So while you're finishing off the steak, let's get ready and we're going to cook our eggs. I love scrambled eggs, but you can cook the eggs however you prefer. I usually add a little bit of half and half to my eggs, and then I'll either cook them with butter or some cooking spray. And then I like to add a little bit of cheese. Allow the cheese to melt and continue to cook your eggs however you prefer. A lot of the times I like to add a little bit of garlic pepper or just regular black pepper to my eggs. So once your eggs are done, we're going to go back to our steak and we're going to finish off our steak. You're just going to baste it with the butter. You don't have to, but when my steaks are almost done, within the last minute or two, I like to sprinkle a little bit of the Montreal steak seasoning over the steak. So once everything is done and you plate the steak, eggs, and potatoes, your breakfast is going to come out looking delicious like this. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Be sure to hit the like, comment, or subscribe button.